Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 9 tips to start freelancing with no experience, aka the Freelance Beginner's Guide. Alright, before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload amazing videos. Now let's continue. Being desperate makes us to take terrible decisions or make terrible choices. So it is advised not to start freelancing because you want to make money quickly. Yes, it takes a lot of patience and hard work, of course. Are you thinking about starting up freelancing? But yet, you don't know where to start. This video will help you a lot because it is an ultimate guide to start being freelancing for any beginner out there who is interested in freelancing. These tips will help you begin your freelancing journey in 9 easy steps. Whether it is freelancing as a blogger that you want to start with or as a developer or a web designer. Freelancing that we all know is way harder than we all would think. So many people believe that online money can be gotten from a laptop and an internet connection. But that isn't totally true. Although you can make money with those items mentioned, but you only go for it if you are willing to work hard for it and achieve your goals of becoming a great freelancer and gaining your financial freedom. And this video is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that. So if you're ready, please subscribe to this channel like I said, and turn on the notification bell to be among the first to be notified whenever we upload a new video. So, if freelancing is a new thing for you, then by now you should have known that some jobs are easier to get even without being experienced. For beginners, the best freelancing jobs can be freelance writing, social media management, or virtual assistants. So here are a few tips to go with. 1. Start a website. Maybe the easiest way to start up with freelancing without any experience whatsoever is by creating a website for the services you render. Even if you're not a web designer or anything like that, there are very easy templates you could make use of from different web platforms out there. No much sweat, all you have to do is tweak and rearrange some colors and items to match your kind of brand. Starting a website as a beginning freelancer would help you get clients and also to showcase your work or services. Some web platforms that can be suggested for beginners can be Elemental or Wix. Elemental is more affordable though, but if you want more freedom of more options to use, then maybe consider checking out WordPress. The first thing to make sure of whenever you want to create your own website is to make sure you purchase your own domain name. That is www.yourwebsitesname.com. This will help it look more professional and serious to your clients. And also get a free email address in your domain too, so that you don't have to use a Gmail. When creating your website, be careful not to make use of too much words or information in order not to get your clients bored and uninterested quickly. Just focus on telling them your most important services and how you can help them if they choose you. Always ensure you have a home page, an about page, services page, and a contact page. In order to raise your domain power, try starting a blog in your website. It is a very nice way to give out information with very important clients and showcase your intelligence so that you can be able to show people out there that you are an expert at what you do and that you deserve to be hired by anyone who needs a well done job. 2. Look on freelancing websites. There are lots of websites for freelancing out there with important clients who are looking for people who would do an urgent project for them. These projects can be writing of blog articles for different websites or graphic designing. Some amazing freelance websites for starters are sites like Upwork, Fiverr, Flexjobs, and lots more. You can make as much as $10,000 if you join any of the mentioned websites. So there is a lot of money to be made as a freelancer if only you can hustle hard. Also, you shouldn't focus all your strengths and mind on freelancing websites because they tend to take a percentage of whatever you're getting. So you would make less than you want to. And there's also every possibility to come across low quality clients in sites like these. But it is not a bad place to start. It can be easily done using these platforms. If you want to start freelancing even without any experience whatsoever, so much that you always sit and daydream about it because it gives so much time to spend with your family and friends and the happiness that comes with being your own boss. And also the additional cash you get to reach your financial goals. Most people are in that shoes right now. Working jobs that don't pay them enough and doesn't even offer much opportunity to get to the top and getting so frustrated trying to break free. So now is the time to start up freelancing if it's something you're fond of. 3. Pick which type of freelancing you want to do. There are a zillion different ways to do freelancing. The first way is to identify your options, anything you're passionate about, so you can find out what type of freelancing you want to get into. If you're more of the creative type, you may want to go for video editing or freelance copywriting. If you're more on the technical side, you can go with freelance coding or web development. If you feel frustrated by all your options, just remember that the key is to choose whichever idea blends with you the most, then take action on it as soon as possible. You can always make a change later. 
four, get into the proper mindset as you learn how to start freelancing without any experience. Whenever you go on a new journey, there is nothing called like fear, but there is something called imposter syndrome. It makes you feel like you ain't good enough and tell you you're not worthy, talented, or smart enough to make things happen. But guess what? It is a liar. And keeping it shut can help you develop an amazing and rich mindset that will empower you to make positive changes in your life. So if you're just now learning how to start freelancing with no experience, give this procedure a try and see if it will help you get in the right headspace. You can practice affirmations. These can help you to rearrange your attitude and empower your confidence. Keep telling yourself that you can do it. Create a morning routine. This will help you set up for success. And always practice to be thankful. This will increase the positivity and happiness in your life while reducing the stress and anxiety. Always try to practice these three habits every day. It can help you stay more focused as you build your very profitable freelancing business. Five, have a great website. Now we talked about creating a website earlier. A lot of freelancers always get hung up on creating the perfect website when they're just beginning. Well, have this in mind that your website doesn't need to be peach perfect. It is just a place for important clients to view your portfolio and learn more about who you are and the services you render. So just set up a basic site and get it live as fastly as possible. You can always go back and change it as you gain more experience. So set up a basic website with Squarespace. It is one of the easiest platforms for those without any website design experience. Create some web pages for your portfolio, like your rate page and about me page. Also add a contact page where they can reach you. Add a link to your website so they can call directly and talk with you without having to send you an email or to go through the hassle of submitting a phone first. Most clients find that stressful. Six, build your initial portfolio. The next thing to do is to create a portfolio of maybe three to five pieces that you can showcase to important clients. Though you may be thinking right now that how is it possible to start freelancing without having an experience on how to build a portfolio? Because no clients will hire you if they read it in your portfolio that you are a newbie. There's a little secret there. You don't need to have actual clients to create your own portfolio. You can work like someone really hired you even if they did and rate yourself. And with that, create your portfolio. So if, for instance, you're a logo designer, you can start with creating some logo packages just for creating sake and to see how good you are and increase your knowledge. If you are a website designer, you can create websites and organize them properly to see how good your skills are. You can also show it out to people and be open to corrections. That is the way to grow. 7. Find your first few clients. It may be difficult to find your first new clients, but there are still sure ways of getting them. After all, those are the great freelancers started just like you. Here are some places to look. Places like Upwork and Fiverr are great places to get some fast clients when you're still learning how to become a freelancer without experience. But you definitely want to move off these sites once you've gained some experience because, like we said earlier, they tend to take large cuts of your earnings and most companies that use them are only looking for the cheapest work possible. Also, reach out to your friends and family. You never can tell who amongst them is interested in the free or discounted work. It may not get you much or anything at all, money-wise, but you get the experience and you can equally ask them for a testimonial in exchange. In fact, if you want to learn how to start freelancing without any experience whatsoever, reach out to the people you already know. It just might surprise you. You can send emails of your work to companies. It works sometimes. Even if they didn't ask for it, you're only sending them your portfolio and possibly some of your best designs. And who knows? They may call you up one day. So make sure you have a portfolio before reaching out to companies. They need to know what you're capable of doing. Eight, increase your rates and keep going. As long as you have three to five portfolio pieces under your belt, it's time to increase your rates and keep going. You don't need to bother about how to price your work, just identify how much you want to be making each month. Then break it down to create your hourly fee, or what you would charge per project. For instance, if you want to start your freelancing as a side job, you may have a goal to make extra $1,000 in a month with it. And if you're charging with each project, and you know you have the time to write up to 5 articles in a month, then you could charge like $200 for each article. 9. Try to buy courses that will teach you how to start up freelancing with no experience. Do you want to thunder into your success? Just find an online course that will teach you how to be a freelancer with no experience. This is exactly what some people did when they started freelance copywriting. Though they had absolutely no experience, but they found a copywriting course that was created by a pro who had already made all the mistakes and learned to do it the proper way. And it won't take long after buying your course before you make your freelancing your full-time job. It may have been possible to build their freelancing career without the course, but it would have taken you much longer to do it on your own. The course will help you to open up your eyes to a lot of things faster than normal. So if you have the financial capabilities, go for a freelancing course so it can help you have a head-on on your career. So viewers, that is all we have for you for now. 
and we sincerely hope you've learned a thing or two. Things don't just happen for people, they make it happen. You can do the same for yourself and let us know what your decision is in the comment section. And also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.